Well, right, Robin, this is a great way to limber up. There's nothing quite like a bat. Yo, who are you two? It must be new in Gotham City. He's from Philadelphia. How did you know? You dipped your dip thong. Hey, you better watch it or I'll dip your dip thong. Hey, you wait till you Yo, it's Carnage Man back in action once again. How'd you like that little video? Eh? It was pretty cool, huh? Oh, well. Changes changes the likes. All right, so I went to my comic book shop today. Um, we're getting another storm here. They closed the, school, the, the, the stores for school, but it's not even a big storm, so I don't know why. So my boys are home today, so I had to stay home with the boys today. This is this, this today's comic books. Big week. So today I'll have some comic books, uh, some posters, a pop, and and that's about it. Let's start. Batman 47. Basically, uh, Raz al Ghul, Ghul has been uh, told Batman pretty much that he will. It's not him that's in doing this right now, and that he's healing himself. And then when he gets better. He'll go after Batman um, himself when Batman thinks that he everything is cool and everything is all right. He, the when least expected, we'll see him again, and he'll knock off Batman off his high perch. So yeah, so now we this I haven't read this issue at all. So obviously another villain. So we'll see about that. The the best one of the week. Uh, Red Lanterns. If you're a Batman fan, that little baby right there, you know who he is. If you know, if you're a Justice League fan, that little baby right there, you know who he is. If you're a Superman fan, you know who that little baby boy is. This little baby boy basically can kill anything, beat anything, anything, anywhere, anytime. He, Batman had a hard time with him, had to get the Justice League to help him. The Justice League had a hard time dealing with him. Uh, couldn't deal with him pretty much. I don't know how it finished. I'm going to be basically f looking for the, the titles today and trying to find that myself in back issues because I want to see the, the fight. So yeah, Guy Gardner is really mad and he goes up against him. Um, and he gets his ass kicked pretty much. But at the end, I think uh, Guy Gardner is going to take care of him because Guy Gardner's is, his powers are pretty increased, pretty wicked lately. The Flash got three covers. Uh, this is a variant from from um, Harley Quinn. I always get that. There was a blank page um, thirty nine as well. I got that. It was already in my file, so picked it up. And this is the regular cover, which I really love. I picked it up anyways because if you see here, Flash is, has no powers whatsoever. Pl Flash is in the past. In the prehistoric times, and he's trying to get to a place to try to bring him back into this period of time, because in this period of time, Flash is here, and, and it's a Flash that doesn't care at all. So yeah, it's this. This should be really good. So yeah, got three covers. Uh, Sinestro number ten. Love Sinestro, coolest dude. And I like the cover. Look at that. This is the Harley Quinn variant. Uh, in Canada, uh, I don't know if in the states. Usually they charge uh, double price for these covers, the, the variant Harley Quinn, because the shops try to make profits for nothing. But my shop gives them to me the same price. I'm sure in Ontario is the same. In, 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 in the States, I'm sure it's the same. It's just some shops around here are really cheap. Maritimes, Atlantic Canada. So yeah, this is the one there. I got the Batman 39 with the Harley Quinn variant on it. I thought, I thought it was so cute. She's going to kill that poor Batman... Uh, Batman uh, uh, pillow. <laughs> and now for my in independent books. Low by Remender. Number seven. Is it number seven or number eight? Number six. Uh, this story is really, really good, guys. It, it really started for me at issue number three. One to three was like, what the fuck? What, what the hell is this? I, what is this? But... Issue 3 started really getting me into the story. And now that the mom has got a son and, it, and her daughter back, and they're going to 
the satellite outside of uh, the water to go see where there would be some life outside of the planet because the planet is pretty much dead and they live in the water. That's where they live, these people. But at the last issue, her son, the mother, the queen down of down of the in the, deep down in the water, her son was killed. But something went next to him and, and created something. I don't know. So I think he might be getting some superpowers. I hope so. Rasputin number five. Love this book. The art is incredible. Nobody draws like this. Um, it's Rosmo or Placencia and Meyer. I just love the art. I love the storyline. It's pretty cool. Anybody that knows what Rasputin is and the song and all that stuff and the history of it in Russia, it's pretty cool. Graveyard Shift, number three. Yeah, number three. So the first issue was the vampires getting her. The second issue was running from the vampires. The third issue was pretty much them going up against the vampires, I think. I don't know. But his girlfriend is a vampire now. So. The Wicked and the Divine, number eight. This is a good storyline. I've bought the first seven issues. I've not started reading them. Uh, so number eight, hopefully I'll be starting to read that very soon. Yep. Uh, Marvel Comics, Amazing Spider-Man number 15, they better not start back to number one uh, after the big uh, star civil war and all that stuff and the, the secret wars because I will be pissed off. So number 15, this is the epilogue of Spider-Verse, so we're going to see where all the other Spider-Verse, all the Spider-Men and Spider-Women are going to go, where they're going to be heading off. Spider-Gwen, everybody's waiting for this one. Got the regular cover. Got the the the, the Scott Scotty Young uh, variant was in my file, and I got also the blank Spider Gwen. So I'm gonna get uh, Nick Bradshaw in Moncton here. He's in my city. He's in. He comes to my shop to do a Spider Gwen. So that should be really really nice. Nick Bradshaw is really one of the best artists right now uh, at Marvel. Um, Superior Iron Man, number five, I think. Yeah, five. Look at that, huh? It looks like the old times of uh, Tales of Suspense. That's pretty cool. This is a nice cover. I love covers like that. It's too bad we don't have covers like that anymore. And uh, last but not least, uh, Deadpool. Uh, Deadpool is a really good book at number 42. Um, as you can see, uh, there's only three issues left until he dies, which I doubt it, but who knows. Uh, I got back issues. Uh, I picked up another silt number one because I noticed that they were going up big time. I actually found it in a file that was just thrown on the side that was abandoned. Got number seven, uh, Sinestro. My collection was not complete without him, I guess. Um, I picked up this from last week, or got it in the mail, The Empty. I don't know if it's good or not. I haven't seen any uh, replies about it. And I got my variant, Darth Vader, number one, which is the action figure variant. I was supposed to get Darth Vader number two today, but I didn't get it, so it's ordered again. I will get it in a week or two for free, so I don't really... Don't, that doesn't really bother me. Not that excited about it, to be honest with you. It's not bad. But. Uh, posters this week. Uh, Pops, Mystique. I've wanted her for a long time. This is she's really pretty. Posters. I got. Um, I think that's Soldier. Huh? Soldier. I got that from DC. I think this is the first poster I get from DC, to be honest. I got Guardians of the Galaxies team up. I think that's pretty nice. Uh, 
We haven't got some of these in a long time. This is my favorite one, guys. This is why I'm so happy. I don't have to pay for it. Uh, Spider Gwen. Yay, Spider Gwen. I got her cover. This will be going into a frame and going into my pool room next door. Nice. And I got uh, this one here. I think it's the Ultra. Inhumans, the new Inhumans is starting soon, the series here, with Black Bolt in it. And the last one, it's uh, Avengers uh, Ultra, I think it's pretty much the movie poster that's coming out. Yeah, Ultron. Age of Ultron, so this is the poster, boys and girls, of the next, the next movie. I have it. It's pretty cool. So yeah, that was pretty much it. Other than that, it's pretty much it. Um, so that's it, guys. That's it. Red Lantern is almost out for good. Kind of sad. <laughs> All right. So yeah, if you like it, thumbs up. If you don't like it, thumbs down. Uh, if you want to share it and show it to your buddies, this video, that's cool. If you don't want to share it, no problem. Um, take care, guys. Have a good week. And I uh, love you all. Carnage Man out.